thank the gentleman from New York and the other Republicans who are supporting this and thank them for their bipartisanship. To the other 90% of our friends on the other side of the aisle, holy cow, incoherence. No idea what you're talking about. Ben Benghazi, you guys chased the former Secretary of State all over the country, spent millions of dollars. We have people scaling the Capitol, hitting the Capitol Police with lead pipes across the head, and we can't get bipartisanship. What else has to happen in this country? Cops. This is a slap in the face to every rank and file cop in the United States. If we're going to take on China, if we're going to rebuild the country, if we're going to reverse climate change, we need two political parties in this country that are both living in reality, and you ain't one of them. That was Democratic Congressman Tim Ryan hammering the lunacy and hypocrisy of the Republican Party. Ryan was condemning the House Republicans who voted against creating a bipartisan commission to investigate the January 6th Capitol insurrection. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. Only 35 House Republicans voted for the commission. That's right, just 35. The rest want America to forget. The January 6th insurrection against our Congress, our Constitution, and our election was one of the worst political crimes in American history. It interrupted the peaceful transfer of power. It injured and wounded, hospitalized more than 140 law enforcement officials who were punched, kicked, maced, spat upon, speared by Confederate battle flags, Donald Trump flags, American flags. They had eyes gouged, one lost several fingers, they turned the capital of the United States, they turned this chamber into a crime scene. Despite all of that, only a handful of Republicans supported creating a bipartisan commission to investigate. Republican leaders in the House and Senate call the bill a Democratic plot, and they claim the commission is designed to hurt Republicans in the 2022 midterms. That's a lie. First of all, the bill was negotiated in good faith between Democratic Chairman of the Homeland Security Committee, Benny Thompson, and the ranking Republican member, John Katko of New York. Secondly, any subpoenas for witnesses have to be agreed upon by the top Democrat and Republican on the commission. And thirdly, the legislation specifically says the commission must wrap up and issue a final report by the end of this year, 2021, 10 months before the midterms. One key question hanging over the January 6th violence is, what links did Republican members of Congress have with the insurrectionists? Clearly, GOP leaders don't want the public to find out. So Democrats should now follow the example Republicans set in 2014 in the wake of Benghazi, the terrorist attack that killed the U.S. ambassador to Libya and three other Americans. The Benghazi committee was stacked for the majority party, did what it wanted, and spent two and a half years and more than $7 million on the investigation. Oh, and by the way, the investigation still did not find any wrongdoing by Hillary Clinton. The Benghazi hearings were a political stunt. The January 6th investigation is deadly serious. We must get a full accounting despite GOP attempts to bury the truth. Once upon a time, Republicans claimed to be all about patriotism, law and order, and honor. Now, the GOP has largely become a party that only cares about regaining power no matter what it takes. That is awful news for our country, but it will be far worse if Democrats accept the Republican nonsense. House Speaker Pelosi should set up a January 6th select committee with Democrats in charge. As Republicans declared seven years ago, it is time to investigate and let the chips fall where they may.